All right, all right, all right. What's up, everybody, and welcome back. We've got Team Liquid's Clem in the bottom left side of the map playing the weekly finals. It's the ESL Americas 212 weekly finals. Max Max in the top right playing for Science Storm Gaming. Max Max went for a probe harass, didn't really kill any units. And he has seen that it is a very standard expand build. Reaper, Marine, Bunker, and a reactor going down factory as well. Uh, where is that Reaper coming in the left side? Oh, he's sneaking in. He's, he's going to try and wait for the Adept to leave, and then he'll sneak in behind. Now, Max Max, second Adept is coming out, but this is at least a free scout. And that Adept should be able to scout this. Probe barely survives. That probe was, of course, damaged by the SCVs earlier. Normally, Reapers don't leave a unit on one hit point. Because it had taken SCV damage earlier. It uh, almost died. Would have been a bit healthier otherwise, after just four Reaper attacks. Very annoying micro there for Clem. Trying to bait Max Max out. Max Max won their most recent run in, which was actually uh, very recently. SCVs trying to repair each other, touch each other up, and a good pullback with the Adept. You don't want to stay here too long. This is going to be a fascinating match because Max Max is, of course, the number one Protoss. And unfortunately, he's not going to the biggest tournaments. He has moments where he destroys Clem, though. I'm saying, like, rips him apart. Now, I was listening to Zombie Grub earlier. She was saying how basically it feels like he's adapted his style because a lot of the Protoss have started beating him and Clem's playing more turtly than ever. I actually think that's a massive weakness against um, some guys like Estrella. Can take advantage of that. But because Max Pax plays such a sort of standard solid style, usually... Very committed to his four gate blink aggressions and those sort of things. It's, it's, it makes a lot of sense. The problem in this game is Clem sees the fast third. He knows he's not under any any threat. And he should basically just be like, oh, okay, make one tank, make Raven, make nothing but Bio. And if you want, you can even skip the tank. It's kind of dangerous, but if you know they're going for a third base at four minutes, it's almost certainly two gate blink. Unlikely for them to do any sort of serious blink aggression because they just don't have the numbers. Oh, he's going for a Liberator. What? Wait, 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 wait. Single Mind Drop into Liberator? Is he actually just gone non-stop building Marines? Oh, wow. He's going to do a two tank push. He's going to do a tank bunker, a Marine push with a Liberator, which he might, he might not even do the Liberator on the back. He might even do that on the front. Forge goes down here for Max Max. Oh, that's not what you need right now. You need Immortals. You need Stalkers. You need Fighting Units. Clem is playing a very clever strategy against what he scouted. He says, you're being greedy. You think I'm going to be greedy because that's what I've been doing a lot of recently. No, nope, I'm going to come in the front. But the Observer sees the move out. This is huge. This is huge. He needs to he needs to stop building probes, start building gateways, and, and get a battery at the third right now. Max Max wasn't watching. Max Max was not watching, guys. He, he should notice now. But the fact that his battery's only now started is a bit of a problem. Any Every second counts on getting that up faster. Medivac's trying to drop the tanks to bully him back. The Adept does go down. Stalkers will try to pick off some of these units. Oh, good damage with the Stalkers right now. Great damage. Oh my lord, the Stalkers. Nice micro on these. He gets the Widow Mine as well. Oh my god. He's going to blink forward and take out the tank. Refusing to give up ground. Max Pax playing very well. Remember though, he's only on two gate production. So losing those three Stalkers on the Adept is very costly. That being said, I think it's good enough. Now, where did the Widow Mine drop go by the... Did he just... Wait, that, did he just join that on the front? Maybe he did. Okay, we can blink across and catch this. You want to try and wait up here, so if he goes back, he has less room. And the Stalkers, they weren't through the line in the Minerals, but doesn't matter. That's enough Stalkers to shut that down. He's going to be able to get back there now. This Adept is shading out. Sees a lot more Marine tank. Definitely feels like an aggressive build. And the Observer even sees that very late third command center. This has been spotted. Clem will scan it now and take that Observer out. But that's a great start for Max Pax. Max Pax just doing really well, even with just two gate. As long as you non-stop produce off those gateways, you'd be surprised what you can pull off. Robo Bay starts at the same time as a fourth. Stalkers on the front pick off a Marauder and blink away. And a single Medivac with eight Marines on the left side of the map going towards that fourth base. The Immortal being out of the map seems a little bit risky to me. Of course, if he does find Marauders or Siege Tanks, he could just click on them. It does massive bonus to Armored. Ooh, here we go. Medivac going around behind the natural. Oh, he's going to scout the Dark Shrine like the second it starts. 
Oh, no, he's not. He turns back. He's like, oh, I don't know, man. The Dark Shroud is just out of vision. Max Max, does he even know about it? I don't think so. Yeah, he doesn't know about this. Prism going to the right side with the Zealots. Medivac goes down. No stim for Clem to punish this. Interesting. Doesn't have Concussive on the way either. That Stalker on the tower will go down. Looks like the 8 Marine drop came in, distracting Max Pax. Max Pax going to have to warp in some Zealots to try and deal with it. Charge is done. Zealot drop going into the third of Clem. He's going to try and hit the main at the same time. Clem being a nuisance right now. The Stalkers will clean up on that side. But it looks like the fourth base of Max Pax will go down. He's got to make Clem pay a hefty price for this. Prism does go down, though, to those Widow Mines. Nice shots. Uh-oh. Max Pax is in trouble, losing that fourth. It's actually really bad. He does kill a few workers, but he's, his attack's cleaned up, whereas Clem's still on his front doorstep. Dark Shrine did not get scouted. Yes, it did. It did get scouted. So I don't know if Clem registered it in the chaos, though. So much happened in a quick succession there. Clem may not have noticed, because we don't see any missile turrets, no Raven. And uh, not many scans either saved up. Zealot's coming in yet again to look for that damage. Widow mine shots are hitting a mixture of zealots and friendly units. Up to 13 workers total killed in these last few minutes of escapades. Looks like a gateway went down or a pylon. I think another gateway will be taking big damage. Clem's positioning is very annoying. When you engage this, it's... Oh, no, no, this won't work for max packs. This, this is... I think Clem has this game. Because the units are kind of tucked away. But actually, Colossus time from the high ground? Maybe I underestimated. No. Oh, he does get a medevac out, though, which is huge. Good trading overall. Clem is down 200 resources in the trades. DTs come in, but it looks like turrets finished and scans go down just in time. 2-1 upgrades are on the way. Max Pax is only on three base, though. He's building Colossi, so I do believe in his ability to come back with Double Forge and Colossus. He's just very slow to retake that fourth and, uh, and get that one going. I'd also like to see him retake the sixth gas, or take that for the first time, in fact and start thinking about mixing some Archons in. That being said, the Ghost Academy is already building. The 4th Command Center, 2nd eBay Armory. Clem is turtling right now. Fire, going to try and push him back on the right. 2nd Robo on the way for Max Pax as well. He's willing to play Disruptor heavy this time around. Widow Mine's going down that right side. There is an Observer in position that should see this drop coming. Let's see if Max Pax notices it. We're on his camera right now. He sees it. Instantly enough Stalkers warping into two-shot it. And the Medivac just F2'd home. It F2'd home, but now it goes back. And as long as he hides the Stalkers far enough back, if you commit, he will blink on it. He'll take it out. If I were Max Axe, I'd probably pull the Observer back and try to spot that. Oh, but look at this. The Medivac's actually going towards the low ground base. Nice move. Max Pax was just microing on the other side of the map, but he immediately responds. And only two probes going down there. Widow Mine's in the natural. Take out a Stalker and a probe as well. He's going to just chrono boost an Observer. I think it'll it'll pop out here oh no max Pax. oh that's gonna kill a lot of probes he doesn't know that's there max Pax was a bit too busy dealing with a lot of things at once that widow mine will almost certainly ah he spotted it he spotted it in that fraction of a second he retargets well done that cannon does take out that widow mine before it can fire again as well only 65 probes for max max he's trying to gather that work account back up his supply is fantastic though He's got so many units. Three Colossus and Immortal, 19 Zealots, 14 Stalkers, and a Sentry for the Guardian Shield. Guardian Shield does get popped as the fight starts. Colossus taking out a few Marauders. Nice Zealot split. Very nice split there at the last second. Dude, Max Max is a beast. Plus two armor, plus three attack on the way for Max Max, whilst 2-2 two, two is on the way here for Clem. His plus two attack. About a minute underway. The other one just started... Fourth base planetary is up. Three more barracks are building right now for Clem. It's going to put the factory off the reactor. Says it's past the Widow Mine stage of the game. Time to go Viking Lib. Widow Mine's just getting cleaned up as there is an abundance of observers now. Max Pack setting up these observers for vision. There is a human getting 3D printed down there, by the way. Or maybe just a spacesuit getting 3D printed. Freaking cool, man. Oh, watch out. Watch out, Clem. Oh, disruptor shot lands. Another one gets two Marauders. He's going to dive on it. A crazy move for Clem. The Zealots come forward. The Stalkers taking out the Vikings. This is a huge moment for Max Max. Jumping on top of Clem's army right there. 
And that is massive. Absolutely massive for him. Oh, sorry, we got some studies. We are casting on the European server. Hopefully the players don't feel that. But living in Australia, on the opposite side of the globe, is sometimes something which will lead to those server stutters. Oh, disruptors going forward. Since the tower do fall, the bio getting pushed back. The zealots are not going to be stopped. Max Max supply is too high. The disruptor shot comes forward. The Vikings do try to spread, but waddling Vikings trying to spread is so damn awkward, man. Stalker and model coming out here. One more disruptor rallies into the fight. The stalkers are starting to fall. He does need more zealots here. Somehow the SCVs survived that entire fight. The disruptors are left hanging out. Oh, go, go. What are we doing? What are we doing, Max Max? Max Max getting a little bit too aroused here. Needs to keep it in his pants. No need to keep pushing in there. I'd love to see him rotate north and kill that command center. It's a free it's a free kill. It's going to take another 40 seconds to finish building. As long as he gets there before it's done, he could pick that off. But no, he's going to keep pushing the front. EMP lands on the front of the Zealot Stalker. Nice EMPs. Good micro, but another medevac gets focused down by the Stalkers. Disruptor shots keeping him at bay. Four of them out, two more building. Plus two armor, plus three attack. About to finish. The Rich Gas base is now fully saturated. That is a fifth base up for Max Max. Clem stuck on four. Oh, he's chasing. He's chasing. Clem is a horny boy. He wants to force Protoss to fight while their balls are empty. He wants to be the only one able to squash this army. But there's just so much Protoss. Every time a new wave comes in, and now with plus two armor finished, plus three attacks about to kick in. So for a moment, he was on 2-2. But now it's 2-2 against 2-3. Disruptors are still in his face. Oh, he turns around way too late. His numbers are just too low. This is no longer an intimidating force. It's a few Marauders and Ghosts hanging on for dear life. Max Max is dropping balls out the side of his army. Max Max, an absolute monster. He's looking so tight right now. Stalker Disruptor Zealot coming forward. The Colossus as well. The Vikings have heavily damaged those Colossus. And Max Max is just saying, you have to permanently stim. Hope you enjoy this, mate. Eight Matavax always out of energy. Picking off units little by little. The in and out micro is just so good by Max Max. It's something normal humans can only hope to do. We saw, of course, up there on the top left. It is the GG for Clem. And the reason for that was this. Dark Templar came in on the left. That's 10 DTs. And while he was distracting on that right side, hypnotizing both myself and Clem, Dark Templars came in and three shot at the planetary and Clem had to tap out. All right, well, that was a lovely first game from Max Max. Feeling himself right now on a roll. And he's going to go to Radusat Station. A giant map, which I believe would be Clem's map pick. I think. I think this is probably Clem's map pick. Big macro map. And, um... If you believe Terran's better in late game, with like range libs and ghosts and everything, I think this map's actually pretty good. Got the barracks and the gas here as well. Probes coming across the map. People saying, how the hell do you even fight that? Well, basically range libs. Or you, you, you do more, you use your mobility. Because the thing is, you have more mobile armies, so you're meant to be attacking as the Terran and kind of counter-attacking and dropping and keeping the Protoss a bit more defensive and splitting your army up, or just full surrounding. Chat saying the Bacta tank. Is that the heal? Okay, so we're talking about lore there. Is the Bacta tank the thing they heal, uh, Star Wars lore, is that the thing they heal um, Luke in after he gets messed up on uh, Hoth? Is that a Bacta tank? Is that what that is? Someone was calling the thing Han Solo gets stuck in a, um, a bio bed. And I was like, and they're saying that's what the thing was on the map where the 3D printer was. And I was like, what? No, it's not. They didn't 3D print Han Solo. They just froze him in some carbonate. Totally different. Anyways, uh, Adept's coming out here. We've got the pylon over there. Oh, who scouts for this? Oh, Clem. Oh, Clem fans in tatters right now. Oh no, it's a three gate, guys. He's gonna build a second gate here and a third gate at home. Max Max has done this build many times before and he'll do this many times again. Now, if Clem goes double cyclone, he's fine. But why would you go double cyclone on such a big map? That's a kind of crazy thing to do. Thank you so much, Willie Nelsons. Appreciate the sub there. Willie Nelsons headband, the sweatiest headband of them all. This build does sacrifice any sort of tech. There's no Twilight or Robo, but oh, it's a three CC. Clem's once again not scared. He's been playing so greedy. And like I said, he's been weak to guys like Astraea who are creative. 
specifically because he's so defensive right now. He's, I, I really don't think it's the best way to play TVP. I think TVP is always about surprising Protoss. I think that's the same thing with ZVP. I think the moment you become entirely predictable as a Zerg, Protoss starts to look ac actually broken. But it's Protoss' weakness has always been their fragility. Oh! Oh, he goes in there. He's blocking the factory from landing. Does look like it wants to be reacted Cyclones, but three gate. Should be able to shut that down defensively. The question is, if you think it's Mass Cyclone, do you just like wait for him to move across the map? Defend with a battery and like two Stalkers, and then you just warp in, you wait to have like 10 Stalkers? Clem is scouting for it. Oh, nice move there by Clem. And can we get it? Can we get it? Oh, that Cyclone. Yeah, it should go down, I think. One, one Adept hit, unless it gets repaired. Unless it gets repaired. It does get repaired. There's no bunker though. Two Cyclones are about to pop out, but there will be three Stalkers warping in in the near future. That Marine goes down as well. Two Adepts and three Stalkers are here. Gets a good amount of damage on that Cyclone, but an Adept and a Stalker go down. Three Stalkers come in though, and that's a big problem. Uh-oh, Clem losing another Cyclone. He's trying to build two more right now, but Cyclones, when they're outnumbered, are not great units, man. Yeah, he stays way too long. He went way too close there. And he does end up losing that last Cyclone. The SCV is getting evac from the low ground. Stalkers and Adept going after the ramp now. Trying to push on up here. Get as much economic damage as they can. Clem has to tap out. That Marine just didn't quite go far enough to the side. All right. Normally a big fan of Max Pax. But right now, sorry, mate. I am going to be cheering against your opponent. Psystorm's Max Pax is up 2-0. Uh, let's swap that scoreboard around to correspond to the players. I am cheering for your opponent. Down here in the bottom right, Clem. At least for a game or two. He's got his cute polar bear here. Mlum. Apparently it makes a sound like mlum. I don't know. It doesn't sound right. I think I was being trolled by Twitch chat. But uh, damn, dude. D -d 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 damn. Uh, it is surprising that Clem went 3cc and reacted Cyclone. So I think Clem was trying to actually play mech that game. Or at least a heavy Cyclone opening. Um... Which would be, you know, Cyclones are so good at fighting. It's a good way of keeping you mostly safe while going very greedy. But uh, not having a bunker and losing that early Cyclone was just a bit too much. Second gas comes down. So it's going to be a two gas opening for Clem. Does Max Pax change anything? Do we reinvent? It's Oceanborn. It's a pretty short map. I'd say this map's a bit tougher to defend the pushes. I'm trying to think about what I would advise Max Pax to do here yeah? if I was whispering in his ear as some interested and invested party. To finish off Clem, I would say just keep doing what you're doing. Maybe maybe a three gate. I think three gate blink. Maybe four gate blink. You know, probably three gate blink into a third base, like somewhere real middle of the road because you're already bullying Clem. I feel like you can just play standard scout and react and you've got a good chance of getting the 3-0. But Clem, on the other hand, I believe I would like to see... Ooh. Thinking about the different options available. There are some really nasty tank bunker pushes you can do. Max Max has been pretty good at defending aggression so far this series, but those are options. Notice he's pulled four workers off gas. So we got the fast factory, the fast reactor, and Reaper. He's going to go for that command center now. Nicely done. Reaper did scout. Notice he checked down here for proxies before heading forwards across the map. There is a Reaper wall in place and it will once again be that Twilight Council that we know and love. The Adept not letting him jump up the cliff. This is really cute. I like this aggressive Adept. And he chrono boosts his second gateway unit as well so that he can shut it down. Yeah, Max Pax always chronos two adepts out off Cybercore first lately, and it makes it very difficult for the Reaper to gain information without dying. Oh, gonna get to that high ground. Oh, okay, we see it going. Thank you, The One, for the Prime Gaming sub. Welcome to the Pigsty, mate. Adept shading backwards right now. Tracking the Reaper. Oh, the Reaper's trying to hide? Oh, he did it! He hid! Wow, that's a very Clem maneuver. The Adept's like, where the hell did it go? They're like, what the hell? And they're shading back now. Like, damn it, did he trick us? Indeed he did. Second gate and a Robo on the way. Now, you don't know if this is... This could still be four gate if he builds two more gateways in a moment. Blink is being chrono boosted. The Adepts are still trying to hunt for that Reaper. 
You know, it's funny because a while back, some of you may remember the show match we did where we got Max Max and a bunch of other pro Protoss players like Mana to play on an Archon with him. And, um, and, 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 and Clem was like actually playing amazing matches against these guys. At one point, there was three different players controlling Psystorm drops against him. And he was still going toe to toe and making it a very close game. Like, do you know how hard it is to have three plot players each with just one storm drop to control? But Clem was dancing with them, man. It was insane to watch. And it always reminds me of how, like, you know, if you can put Clem in a situation where just speed and multitasking matters in reaction time, he's he's gifted. He's talented. He's hard working as well, of course. You don't get as good as he is without a bit of both. Medivac goes down. Mind drop isn't really achieving anything though. The Adepts do shade in. I think that I think that's that's actually good for Clem though. Yeah, nice SCV block. Does get rid of those two Adepts. Kind of frustrating though. You can see he hasn't rallied his natural, so his build's a little bit messy here. And more importantly, Max Bex has seen multiple barracks, factory, and starport. So it feels a little bit like a two-base tank push there. Of course, we can see that's not the case. Third barracks goes down. Well, there is a second tank. But for now, it is a defensive second tank just against the four-gate blink. And oh, neither side notices as they cross paths there. Raven goes right past the store because if he got that free kill, that would have been massive for Max Pax. Clem's making mistakes right now. He's got to be so careful. Oh, that tank's dead. Second tank on the high ground's a bit too late. But oh, Max Pax, of course, doesn't have the observer. So he didn't know about that. And the stalkers go a little bit too close. Oh, I like the four stalkers squad to try and focus down SCVs. Got to be careful, keep those SCVs back unless you're ready to fight. Second tank siege is up down there. Siege tank getting some shelling off. Stalker's happy to fight though if they've got the spread. Raven auto turret comes in. Second one goes down. Four probes do fall. And it looks like so far two adept, six probes, but a lot of Terran units starting to go down. The tank goes down. Uh-oh, there's so few Marines here. The SCV is being pulled. He might have to lift his natural. He's got to repair it. He's got to repair it. Okay, he's going to repair the command center there, but man, the observer sees everything. Dude, Clem just got trounced. I thought we were going to have an epic comeback finals, but Clem just could not stand up to Max Pax. And Max Pax literally just gave him the wet willy, but that's the rude kind. That's the kind where you realize they didn't use their finger. Damn, GG, well played.